My name is Mohamed Lada. I'm the president and general manager for record arterial disease in North America that accounts for US and Canada. Uh, we are a company that's based in the United States in uh, Bridgewater, New Jersey, and we have uh, over 160 individuals that work in the rare disease space, uh, both in US and Canada. Uh, I've been with the company for a little over two years, and my prior background has primarily been in working in specialty and oncology. So it's a real pleasure to be here with, uh, with Recordati representing rare disease patients and making sure we do the right thing by the patients. In terms of what can we do to do the right thing by the patients, and it's based on three principles. Number one, we have uh, our motto is focus on the few. So every day we wake up and say, it also says on our business cards that we are a company that wants to make sure that we pay attention to rare disease patients. So that's number one. Number two is that goes like, what are we doing? And that's focused on our company motto is unlocking the full potential uh, of life. That means everything we do for this patient should try to maximize that they have the best quality of life. They have the best uh, you know, efficacy from our products. Uh, that, of course, ranges from patient to patient, but that is our aspiration. And number three is to make sure that we keep investing through research, through R&D, and more importantly, for the patients who are currently on our products, or even for my education, that they are getting appropriate uh, support. We have a plethora of uh, services that come under our rare program that offers patients financial support, any assistance from any allied healthcare workers, uh, to you know making sure that there is education in this disease set. So I think those are the three things that we believe we can keep doing uh, to make a difference for these patients. We are lucky that as a company of our size that we have uh, presence in what I would call from a therapeutic perspective in three different areas. So clearly we are here today at Endo. Um, we have presence in rare, rare uh, diseases within endocrinology and that's in Cushing's, Cushing's disease and acromegaly. So those are the two space we cover within uh, endocrinology and rare diseases. Then we have in oncology where we focus on um, some uh, Castleman's disease. So we have a product that's approved for what's known as IMCD, idiopathic multicentric Castleman's disease. Um, and we are looking to bring in more products in oncology, especially in the space of pediatric and pediatric neuroblastoma, uh, an area with high unmet need. And then the, the third component is, or the third therapeutic area that we are focused on is in inherited metabolic disorders. And there is, uh, you know, we have uh, we focus on uh, pediatric ophthalmology for uh, disease that helps uh, manage uh, cystinosis, um, you know, builds crystals in your eyes, and we have a product that can help, um, you know, uh, manage those, the uh, clearing of those crystals. We have another product that is for primarily impacts women, uh, and it's for uh, AIP, which is uh, a acute intermittent porphyria. Um, it's a dire, uh, you know, condition for many women, and we have a product that can help manage that. And then we have uh, a third product that is for NAGS, and uh, I won't spell it out for you, and acidemia, and that is primarily for pediatric, and as they grow, they can continue taking the therapy. And then we have a fourth product in cystinuria, which is helping manage uh, some of the urea cycle disorders as well. So we have a plethora of products uh, in, in multiple uh, you know, diseases, uh, primarily in rare, uh, for, for patients uh, in the United States. We partner a lot with patient advocacy groups, patient groups that can help build our message about when, when we have clinical trials going on to ensure that there is patients who are aware of those studies. 
but we also do a lot of work at the at the sites and make sure that they are aware what our studies and you know anything we can do to support these patients compliantly to be part of our studies um, you know recently we we have been recruiting for uh, what will be considered a new chemical entity for neurotropic keratitis. It's mostly for, it's, it's another ophthalmic product and uh, you know, it's, it's rare, but we have been successful through partnering with, uh, with the sites to ensure that there's awareness about the product um, and uh, about the product and trial to ensure that they can participate in the, in the study. Um, we also find it that uh, doing a doing lot of um, you know, education at congresses like this, where you're building awareness sometimes about these diseases, is also helping um, bring awareness about you know, any clinical investigations that we may be doing within our portfolio. So you know, there's a lot of things we're doing, but uh, within the endocrinology space, right? So we have a number of studies that are being presented right here at the end of from our real world evidence study and showing what's what's happening for link six in terms of what, what's happening for those patients in terms of their safety and enrollment and uh, eventually efficacy we also have another real world evidence study um, in what will be considered as uh, non cushion disease cushion syndrome uh, study uh, named as uh, link seven and that we are presenting here I think we would like to take that, you know, that that study and um, to the FDA and uh, have a conversation. How can we expand our label in order to bring this therapy to even more patients within what we call as uh, Cushing's syndrome? And I think we are very excited about uh, label expansion that will, you know, also help a number of patients with this uh, with this condition. We as a company are very much focused on the few, right? We would like to keep unlocking the potential for these patients and we want to keep investing in research. I think those are, those are the things that are the beacon for hope for us so that we want to bring it to the patients and I think we want to live that mission and uh, be a, one of the premier companies in rare diseases within North America. So thanks for this opportunity to share our, our thoughts and vision with, uh, with the audience.